Dois Lutacos in the Club. Actually, several ingredients in this art stew. The first is the music of Peter Gaffney, who wrote uh, about 50 songs under the catalog known as The Experiment. Uh, they were kind of like satirical, prog rocky, gypsy songs that critiqued the future, life in the future, what would happen, these sort of things. Uh, then, a couple years later, I became a head of rap productions and I said, hey Pete, you know how you always wanted to take those 50 songs and distill them into something new? Let's take the music and you know, erase all the staging from the cabaret series and make a new piece where the music is the centerpiece and let's find a world that's new to surround the music. So that's the bouillon. I, was, uh, I started writing a bunch of songs when I was listening to uh, Mina Hagen and David Bowie and thinking of like a space-aged uh, cabaret dystopic, futuristic scenario. So that was my interest in doing this, and I was really, I was really into uh, like the weird chord changes and um, kind of the, the post-punk new wave vibe of um, Nina Hagen, David Bowie, Gang of Four, Talking Heads. Um, I kind of wanted to do rock and roll cabaret. Uh, the other ingredient in the stew is a style of bouffant, uh, which is uh, something I studied in Pig Iron, the APT, Advanced Performance Training Program. Um, bouffants are like social outcasts who have the ability to reveal very piercing truths about society because of their uh, status as outcasts. Um, and a little bit of clown, which is about being with the audience, which is a big pig iron backbone of the training, too. So, uh, and then there's a little cabaret, which is also about being in the audience. So in my crazy brain, I was like, okay, we can make a world around Pete's music that uses bouffant and clown and direct address and cabaret and singing and being with the audience. Um, and then the last ingredient is Scott Shepard, who is Brat's resident artist this year. He has a directorial residency. Uh, he wanted to really dig in and just be a director, not uh, performing in a show that he's directing as well, like truly be an outside eye. So I challenged Scott to direct these crazy ingredients and make them into something tolerable, something cohesive, something that we could produce. So all those things together in a big stew equals always coming soon, the future. Yeah, well, the, we chose from about 50 songs, narrowed it down to about 20, and then The Clowns and the director Scott um, Shepard and Jess Conda um, chose nine of those songs to perform, and we juggled them a little bit, thinking of who could sing them. Kind of funny tension between clowns kind of sitting on the outside of uh, all rules of theater and sincerity and narrative storytelling, trying to uh, do rock and roll. My hope is that this is the kind of piece that we can take on the road. Uh, we'd like to travel with the show. We kind of conceived of it as a traveling show. Um, down to the, the machine is modular super high-tech, although it's mostly made out of cardboard and wood. This whole rock cabaret thing 
my goal is to make something that has elements of traditional theater, but elements of a rock show, which means, hey, we could potentially put things in a van and tour this thing like a band. A night here, a night here, a run here, a run there, whatever. So it wants to live again in other places. Yeah, we'd like to travel with it. And uh, we have some, um, some tentative plans. We pitched it to um, the English Theater in Berlin and uh, possibly Hamburg and Munich. Uh, those are some very lofty future plans.